One interesting thing was the creative process itself, and uh, we ca came up with what is the shape of this thing. And there was this um, thing that we, in the design community, we call the uh, d uh, create a design triangle, which is uh, diamond. Sorry, which is it diverges when you are exploring possibilities, and then it converges when you um, uh, trying to hone in on onto something. Um, and uh, we think that's a probably a, a general uh, perspective on, on creativity in general, um, but also it has many other internal fractal shapes of, of interaction and, and iteration, etc. cetera. Um, the other element was, was the human element within um, prototyping. So the first thing was that there has, we, we feel that there has to be a facilitator of some kind. It's not a sort of process that, that it does it does need that sort of human direct communication and giving people more direct and central access through through co-design um, processes um, got to leave open the the unexpected and the space for serendipity and the idea that the prototype is not a widget it's a set of human r relationships between stakeholders and that you, you might get several experts or public, and they've all got ideas of what they want and what's not acceptable and what's acceptable. And those set of um, constraints have to, as you push, the f push forward, you have to negotiate through those constraints to shape the project. And then the last thing is, is that um, what we're dealing with today with labs is not an isolated thing. It's a pan-cultural phenomenon. And that uh, it's called various things in... Um, in academia, it might be called action research or, um, or uh, research creation. In design, it's called co-design or user-centered design or organize, uh, organizational design. Um, in, in software engineering, it's called agile design. Um, and in the arts, it's called socially engaged practice. But what it's all about is this idea of um, engaging uh, creatively and collaboratively and with a process of um, iteration of acting and reflecting, acting and reflecting. So it's a very important pan-cultural phenomenon. It's not just a separate little thing that we